Now that the drainage design is complete, we're ready to do our excavation quantities. Moving down to our reports menu, across to excavation quantities. The first thing we have to do is specify our drainage network model, that's our drainage 12D. And what 12D is going to do is run templates along our drainage strings. The name of the template is going to be equal to the size of the pipe, times 1000. So a 375 pipe is going to have a template rundown with the name 375. So the strings model for our running our templates will be excavation strings. The sections model will just be excavation sections. It's also going to contain a report giving us the volumes for each length of our pipes. We have to select a ground surface tin. In this case, we are going to use our existing tin. However, sometimes for your volumes, you might want to use your boxing tin instead. Depends how your quantities are to be calculated. Every two meters for separation is a good start, and of course, yellow is fine for these. These last two, three tick boxes we'll discuss after we've run it for the first time. Now, before we can run this, we have to make sure that we have the templates available. We'll find these templates by file I.O., down to templates input, click on our folder button, move into our library, and we'll find one called pipe templates, and we'll read that in. Now that those templates are available, we can select the process button. It tells us that our total cut volume is 909 cubic meters, and there's no fill. Now, we're not expecting any fill. The only time that would happen is if our pipeline was going across a gully where the fill in the road had to be done before the pipe was constructed. Now, let's zoom into one of our pits, and then let's go add on our excavation sections. You can see what's happened here is that the, ex the sections have stopped at the edge of the manhole. Now, there's a very slight double counting of the excavation in this area. Now, the next step we're going to do is we're going to tell it not to stop at the edge of the manhole, but to go all the way to the center and go rerun that. Yes, we're going to replace that one. And now you'll notice it comes all the way to the center and our volumes have increased by approximately 20 meters cubed. And there's always a certain amount of over excavation required at a pit. So the volumes that you're going to need are somewhere between 910 and 930 meters cubed for this project. We are now going to take a closer look at the templates that were used for this project. I'm going to go up here to Windows, going down to Tile Horizontal, and then I want to go and profile one of my cross section strings. So I'm going to select Profile and go select one of those section strings. Now that's with a 10 times vertical exaggeration. I'm going to bring that down to a 2 times vertical exaggeration to give you a better perspective of what it looks like. I'm also going to add on our drainage 12D. So what we have here is we have our pipeline and we have a bit of over excavation down and half a trench width out and then it batters back at a 10 to 1 up to our existing surface. If I was to add on our tin existing surface, you'd see exactly where the template stops. That's the volumes that were measured for excavation. Now, if we want to take a look at the template that was used, we can go up to Design, down to Templates, we'll go down to Create and Edit. We'll go to our Select button, and you'll notice that we have a template for each pipe size. Let's take a look at the template for the 375. First of all, we'll look at the fixed section. There's 150 millimeters of over excavation, that is for your bedding material, and then it goes out one half of the trench width that's recommended in the pipe design man handbook. Let's finish that, and we can finish that. The last thing we want to do is go take a look at the report that was generated. We'll click on the folder and go down to open, and that report's going to be open just with notepad. And what we can see here is we're, going, we're running our template. It's a 375 template, both of the left and right hand side of the pipe. And there's the chainages. And as soon as we get to the end of that drainage string, you'll get the total for that one segment. Then if we move down to the next one, you can see we're going to run it again. And you can see the left side, the chainage that was used. And at the end of that 375, 
we'll get the next total for that section. And then of course at the very, the grand total of all the excavation was displayed on our screen.